Good morning, welcome back to Building a House from Trees. Uh, this week's episode is part two of the second story balcony build on a timber frame. Um, cutting joists, uh, getting them installed, getting a handrail built, prepping the steel support rods, getting those installed, getting the temporary decking down. It's all there. It's a big and exciting week in the video series. <laughs> um thank you so much for watching i just wanted to uh, put it put it out there don't feel obligated at all but um i've set up a little uh, paypal tip jar i guess is what you'd call it or something i don't know tip jar um ad revenue has kind of dropped off dramatically in the last month and i suspect because of this um wretched pandemic <laughs> uh but if you feel like throwing a couple uh, pennies or whatever in my direction, I'd be more than grateful. And uh, it's just gonna help with the production of the videos and maybe even a new decent camera at some point. We'll see. Um, anyway, uh, it's linked down below. I might even put a QR code in here. One of these little uh, staticky things you can take a picture of with your telephone and then, you know, send a couple dollars or whatever you can set it up monthly or any of that stuff so just dipping my toe into this don't again don't feel obligated to donate or give or whatever um anyway thank you and then the other thing i'm thinking about and probably should do because everybody's doing it out of the woods you know uh down there northwest sawyer um you know fall line ridge the t-shirts and mugs. I'd like to do a horrifically disease-encrusted mug like mine and just duplicate that so all of you could be immune to everything like I am. Uh, <laughs> but I can't do that legally or morally. Um, but t-shirts with the design of some kind, you know, mugs, maybe a sticker, I don't know, some some kind of stuff. So some other way to make a, make a, make a few dollars. So let me know in the description below if you think that's a good idea and if you're interested in it. Okay, on to this week's video and got some more exciting stuff coming up. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Oh, it is nice up here in the early still of the morning. It's cold, but it's nice. I hope it just slides down into position. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's going to be. Zapper. <laughs> I just thought I was recording cutting all these, but you're gonna have to imagine it. It's nothing all that special, so it's not that big of a deal.
bueno. Muy bueno. Yesterday it was 60 and sunny, and today it is snowing and raining. But that's okay. That's exactly what weather does. It changes constantly. Well, there's a balcony framed in, undecked, but um, a lot of fun to be out on. A lot more fun now that that handrail's up. I'm gonna get that plank out of there. I had to put this temporarily back up this uh, just to plug the hole until I get this window installed, window door thingy. Um, and I'm gonna probably deck this with CDX again, just uh, this stuff, just cheap plywood temporarily. Um, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lay down strapping over this before I put the CDX down to give the top of these airflow. I want all these to dry at about the same rate and I want air, air to flow up through them before I, um, uh, treat them with linseed oil and pine tar like I'm going to and then cover them with uh, flashing either uh, aluminum flashing or or tape or I haven't exactly figured out probably Vicor or Zip or something but uh, yeah really solid really nice to stand on and it's just a it's a nice space it's a nice private view of the field and woods and the changing seasons and a tripod and a pile of sawdust. It's nice being under this roof right now in the rain. It sounds good up there. Okay. Well, here we are. The absolute last of the um, exterior sheathing. Uh, it's been, you know, this is the the scariest spot to work uh, until now. Until now that I've got a, uh, a good deck to work off. Permanent solid staging. And so this stuff is all right here. And it's just ticky tacky stuff where like, you know, to work off a really tall ladder doesn't make, you know, a ton of sense because, um, you know, up and down, up and down to make all these little cuts and measurements and stuff. So here we go. I can do it from here. My camera's watching us. So close. 
Does that make sense to you? No? That's a shock. There it is. All done. That is great. So once I get this plugged into there, it's gonna be tight up here. Pretty much airtight. There's a couple little gaps here and there, but very small. It's gonna be a lot nicer. Zero wind at all. I mean, stuff coming up from the basement, but it'll be tight in here. Glorious. So I had these uh, steel rods fabricated, and I'll explain them more uh, in the next few minutes in the video, but um, it's just raw steel, and so what I'm doing is grinding down any rough spots and then kind of wire wheeling everything really smooth and soft, and then I take this uh, brightly colored bandana kerchief and soak it with acetone, and then get all the grease and all that. I just get it as clean as possible. And then what I'm doing here is taking a heavy-duty blowtorch and getting it hot, it's, you know, really hot, but not crazy hot, and then rubbing uh, raw linseed oil into the metal. So I'm kind of treating it like a, uh, you know, like you'd treat a cast iron pan, trying to cure and get a cast iron pan good. So because these are going to be out in the weather, and I think you know they're going to rust a little bit and everything, but I want to inhibit that uh, to some degree.
Well, there you have it. Sketchy deck. So, these rods, these steel rods, have threaded rod all bit onto the end, and then I've run them up through this 8x8 eight eight, um, and put a nut and washer up there, and a nut and washer down through there, and of course the flooring is going to go around there, so that'll see you know be a seamless kind of transition. And these are the supports. These steel rods are. These are cantilevered in. Um, these are 14 feet long, They're with the entire weight of the roof holding them on. So it's a it's a pretty solid way to support this uh, this whole deck on top of the, the kind of uh, overly large knee bracing that I've got um, holding these up, these eight by eights, as well as the Simpson ties and lags and all that, and the oak spline. So. Once again, you know, uh, overkill, I believe, is better than underkill when it comes to not getting killed by falling off a collapsing deck. So this deck is solid. Um, the angle of them going in, I'm aware of and I'm okay with uh, because they're not really going to interfere with the uh, space on the deck out here. You know, I've got all kinds of room. So there we go. One step closer, so uh, I think I'll get this partially decked. So the idea here is with this strapping, um, I'm going to lay it down on top of the, uh, these joists, these deck joists, and then put the um, put the plywood on top of that for the summer or half the summer or whatever to let this green wood dry out at the same rate, airflow and circulation. So uh, that's what I'm up to, and it can be kind of fast and loose. doesn't need to make a ton of sense, just needs to span, span it well. Okay, well, that's a temporary deck uh, for the summer. I think I'll probably put another 2x4 in here because that's sketchy, I guess, for children. Will there be children? I have a niece and nephew. Will they come over? If they do, they shouldn't come out of here. <coughs> I guess. Okay, well, there you have it. The conclusion of part two of the second story balcony on a timber frame. It's not much. You hear the Phoebe? And there's been a winter wren.
What a beautiful song, Winter Wren is. Ooh.